Hello mga kamicro! For today's video, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano gawin ang autoclave sterilization performance check gamit ang Stericon Bioindicator by Merck. Itong procedure na ito ay ginagawa as part of the quality control check ng ating laboratory equipment, especially ang sterilization performance and condition ng ating autoclave. Sa mga hindi nakakaalam, ang autoclave po ay ginagamit to sterilize lahat ng mga materials at media for microbiological testing, making sure na lahat ng mga ginagamit ay steril or malinis, thus preventing contamination sa ating testing. By the way guys, ang Stericon ay isang ampule na may lamang nutrient broth, sugar, a pH indicator, and spores ng Geobacillus sterothermophilus na bacteria. Ang bakteriyang ito ay thermophilus, meaning may kakayahan silang mabuhay sa mga lugar na mataas ang temperature kagaya ng hot springs na umaabot hanggang 75 degrees Celsius. Pero, yung spores niya ay mas resistant sa napakataas na temperature up to 121 degrees Celsius. Ginagamit na indicator ang spores upang malaman if yung autoclave natin is na-achieve niya yung required temperature and pressure as a sterilizing equipment. Even though yung spores ay highly tolerant sa high temperature, pero namamatay pa din sila if they are subjected to a temperature of 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes with compressed steam pressure of 15 PSI or 1 bar. After kunin ang ampule sa ref, ishake muna nating mabuti each ampule to homogenize the cells with the media na nasa loob. Then, huwag natin kalimutang lagyan ng secondary container per ampule in case there's a breakage na mangyayari during the sterilization process. Usually, ginagawa ang QC check na ito once per month. But in our case, ginagawa namin siya twice per month since mas madalas yung usage namin sa autoclave and also malaki din yung weight load capacity. It is also our way to monitor the performance of the autoclave and to know if the equipment is functioning well. We test both the autoclave for sterilization and the autoclave for decontamination at the same time. So for each autoclave, maglalagay tayo ng ampules each, one for the bottom basket and one for the top basket. Don't forget also guys to include a control for this test. Ang control ampule ay hindi natin siya ilalagay sa autoclave but isasama natin siya i-incubate together with ampules na na-sterilize. After maisama ang ampules sa mga materials for sterilization, let's set the autoclave temperature at 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes and automatically the equipment will start and stop the sterilization process after one cycle. Same lang din ang gawin with the autoclave for decontamination but instead, set it to 121 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes mas longer yung duration for decontamination since yung mga materials natin ay usually may growth na ng bacteria and we want to make sure na they are all killed in the process. After ma-autoclave yung mga ampules, incubate them at 60 degrees Celsius for 48 hours. After incubation, we have now the result. And mapapasin nyo na all ampules remain red-violet in color except sa isang ampule which is ang ating control na naging yellow-orange ang color. Ang explanation nito guys is that nag-change yung color ng control ampule into yellow-orange because yung spores is nag-germinate or nag-grow back into cell or vegetative forms and it utilize the media na nasa loob din ng ampule. When they use this nutrient, nagproproduce ng acid products due to fermentation, that's why bumaba yung pH environment sa loob at ito ang nadidetect ng ating pH indicator and thus nagpo-form yung yellow-orange na color during the incubation process. While yung apat na ampules natin na na-autoclave remain red-violet in color kasi lahat ng mga spores ay namatay during the sterilization process, That's why walang growth na nangyari kahit in-incubate pa ito for 48 hours. After meron ka ng result, don't forget to document and record for monitoring purposes. That's it for today guys. Please follow me for more videos like this. Bye!